Hello, Salt Lake City. I got a few of you with that one. <laughs> um, this is open telemetry in five minutes approximately. I'm Austin Parker, director of open source at honeycomb.io and a member of the Open Telemetry Governance Committee. Hello, I'm Dan. I'm a principal engineer at Skyscanner and also a member of the Governance Committee. So today we're going to tell you about open telemetry. Who knows what open telemetry is? Show of hands. Wow. How many of you like open telemetry? All right, you don't have to lie. Um, how many people find open telemetry easy to use and understand? All right. <laughs> so, which is interesting, right? Because on the website it says our mission is to enable effective observability by making high quality portable telemetry ubiquitous. But what does that actually mean in practice? What does open telemetry mean to you? There's a lot of different things that go into open telemetry. You have the API, you have semantic conventions, you have profiling, instrumentation packages, tracing, metrics, logs, OTLP, agents. Bleh. There's so many things, it's hard to really say what is open telemetry. And how does it actually kind of fit together? So what we want to do is we want to really narrow in on what does it mean to have high quality instrumentation anyway? What is our goal um, as a project? So we have a vision, right? And that vision says that telemetry to be effective for observability needs to be sparse, it needs to be highly dimensional. Everything in the system needs to participate in telemetry generation. That generated telemetry needs to have a sufficient variety of dimensions that can be adaptable to different use cases. Telemetry is not three pillars or four pillars or five pillars or any number of discrete pillars. Telemetry is one single interrelated braid of data that is self-referential. And that means that the analysis of that data cannot be isolated either. It has to be part of this entire, you know, this one whole. And it has to be meaningful data. It has to have structure. It has to have schema that can help you interpret and understand the meaning of the telemetry. And then um, telemetry also needs to be portable and ubiquitous. And you probably know that open telemetry is vendor neutral. You can take your telemetry and then integrate it with uh, many open source backends. Open telemetry also provides OTLP, that protocol that efficiently um, is able to encode and transport your telemetry, not to just open source backends, but also to most observability vendors these days. And that makes your telemetry portable. You basically, you can take with OTLP, for example, metrics, traces, logs, and profiles, and then push it to wherever you see appropriate without having to change anything in your instrumentation layer. And if that's not enough, you've got open telemetry collectors that are like the Swiss army knife of the observability engineer. You can do all sorts of uh, ingesting, tra transforming, sampling, and then exporting to, to other vendors. Um, but open telemetry is not just vendor neutral, it is implementation neutral. From its inception, open telemetry has been designed to decouple the cross-cutting aspects of telemetry, which are your semantic conventions and your API, from the underlying implementation. What that, what that means to you as an end user is that you can rely on the OTL API across your whole code base with no other abstractions on top. And then when you get to configure your application, you configure the SDK, you can not just export it to different backends, but you can also do things like you can process that telemetry. You can maybe choose between cumulative and delta temporality for your metrics, or change some attributes and your spans or your metrics before you actually export them. And if you don't configure the SDK, it just become, becomes a complete no-op. So no side effects, it just doesn't process or, or export telemetry. And that is very important for open source library maintainers. If you instrument your application with, or your library with, uh, with open telemetry, you rely on the OTL API, you no longer have to make that, that decision between supporting one client or another client. You just simply use the OTL API and let your end users decide what to do with that telemetry. Because even though open telemetry provides hundreds of instrumentation packages that allow us to add telemetry to, um, to open source libraries, we believe that the future of ubiquitous telemetry is not one where you add telemetry, but rather one where like systems, components, libraries, describes themselves in a vendor neutral, implementation neutral way. And that's the ubiquitous, auto-native future of instrumentation that we believe in, which is 
Ultimately, we believe in OpenTelemetry that the, you will, any language you use, any framework you develop on, any cloud you deploy to, there will be one standard for describing how your system works, and that standard will be OpenTelemetry. You aren't going to have to care about all of these details. You aren't going to have to say, oh, I need to bring in this proprietary thing and that proprietary thing, this open source thing, and blend it all together. You'll just have a base of open telemetry available to you anywhere you run, anywhere you build. And I think that is the real goal of what we're trying to do as a project. If this sounds cool to you or interesting um, or terrifying, then I strongly encourage you to check out our maintainers track session. Check us out on the solution showcase at the Open Telemetry Observatory and find anyone um, with you know, telescope attire on this week, and we will be happy to talk to you more about it. Thank you for your time and have a great KubeCon. Thank you.